everybody, how's it going out there? Adapt 11 here with another Star Wars action figure review. Here we have Star Wars The Black Series, a three and three quarter inch Emperor's Royal Guard. Now I picked this figure up from eBay from a seller by the title of Wrangler Angler 82. And this very nice figure that I have as of yet where I live, seen it offered at Walmart or any other store. Um, I've seen some many other figures, but I've never had my uh, chance to get this one here locally. But for $11 and free shipping, hey, I picked up two of them from Wrangler Angler 30, uh, uh, 82. So I recommend that eBay channel. Or, yeah, eBay uh, site. Anyways, so here on the back, we have a small profile that states... The Emperor's Royal Guard were the personal bodyguards and assassins of Sheev Palpatine. Armed with force pikes and fully clad in their anonymous helmets and crimson, the Royal Guard were silent, imposing, and deadly. Now this 2016 release comes with two different sets or profiles of armor. So let's go ahead, open it up, and check it out. Okay, so let's start with the Emperor's Royal Guard and his training gear. Now you can see he has a different helmet here. The tone is off from the Spaldings or shoulder pads, whatever you want to call them, protective gear, armor. And um, I actually like the different color tones from his hands uh, to his forearms and boots into the clothing of his legs because uh, if it was all one color, it would just would, it would look a little off. So you can tell that uh, it's boots that go up to here. and But I do wish that the helmet was the same tone or re, a tone of red as the Spaldings and, and Sash. Um, so you can see there that he's got what appears to be a leather type of color tone to his, his training weapon. His, double, his dual bladed uh, staff here. And I like the fact that he also has... Uh, a different tone for the blades themselves nice little touch there so we can see here the silver and then we got a little gold or copperish color or brass color then we have the brown leather look all right let's take a look there's another imperial sign on his back now let me go ahead and also expose here on the side of his sash is a holster Now you can see here that the weapon or his pistol is sidearm. Let me go ahead and put it in something here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now there you can see that there's uh, pretty much uh, a black pistol. Blaster, I'm sorry. That would go in right there. And it's deep too. I like that. goes in pretty deep. Now I will say this. Uh, well, I'll get to that in just a moment. But, well, I'll get to it now since I brought it up. The action figure stands, or at least the ones that I use from Marauder or any others that you use, might have a hard time fitting in on the bottom. They're somewhat shallow and not too wide. So I'll get that out of the way. So let's go ahead and go into the articulation. He's got a ball joint at the ankles and at the knees and elbow, or I'm sorry, uh, hips or swivel, no lateral movement. He has twisting motion at the abdominals and or waist, no, no crunching. He's got ball joint at the elbows and he also, nope, he's got swivel at the wrists and he's got ball joint on the head and shoulders. The shoulders are real stiff on this one. Okay, so you can see here, he's got really great articulation. Now let's go ahead, let me put him back in the stand. My hands are getting in the way of the screen. I'm sure you'd rather see the action figure than my hands. So you can see, though, he still fits in the uh, action figure stand. But, of course, the heel is a little bit up off the ground. But I like, uh, I kind of like the stiffness of the joints, but you might have to work it uh, so you don't have that fear of snapping it. So, okay, so let's expose the helmet and let's see what he looks like. I like the facial sculpt. Let's see here. Looks like the sunlight might be a bit much. It's a little overexposed, I guess. All right, there we go. Okay, so here he has a beard. 
Nice face sculpt. Nice paint detail. The eyes are, oops, the eyes are centered so we don't have any cross eyes. Cross eye, <clears throat> he's not cross eyed. Nice to know. No offense to anybody with cross eyed out, cross eyes out there. Okay, so I really like the face sculpt. Now here the spal uh, the, the spaldings come off. There we go. Now let's take a look at the back here a little bit more so I can show you how uh, the clothing or the cloth, the uh, apron, whatever you want to call it, is kind of tucked in here. So I wouldn't pull too hard, and I would be very careful when articulating so you don't yank this out. Well, his symbols, he's got them on both shoulders and the back, the training uh, helmet. Now let's take a look at what we want to get ready for when we put on the Emperor's Royal Guard, typical Royal Guard outfit. So let's take a look at the helmet right here. Nice paint detail. I like that the secondary black paint color is not light. Now I have found some black series series figures that have some sloppy secondary paint detail. So, so far this one has been really good. All right, so see inside. Now let's take a look at the force pike. As soon as I get it in the tweezers, ice cream man. Okay, so here we have the force pike. I like the fact that it's not just one color and it's a fairly well done paint job. It's a little off, I should say, with as far as it's not straight. Just put, have to put that in some hot water. All right, so there we go with that. Well, before I put his clothing, well, actually, let me show you the robe. As you can see, here it is. So we're going to go ahead and put the robe on. My rough fingers will tear this cloth up. Oops, it's one thing about having working hands. They will tear stuff up. Okay, so get them articulated down here. And now here's one thing about the force pike. Now, as you can see with some of these other figures that you can see in the background, you can see how they hold their force pike. Now, what I've had to do with the this... Royal Guard is I had to put his hand let me show you here like this because you just cannot have them or at least I have not found a way to position the hand to where they could hold the force pike like they're supposed to without putting it into an extreme position like this it's just because of the angles so the angles are off that's a probably my biggest and maybe only gripe about these guys is that we're not able, uh, you need, but you can hide it. We're not able, you don't want to expose it, but uh, you can always hide it and you'll never know. Or whoever's looking at it will never know unless you told them. Now, before I suit him up entirely, let's see how close in appearance he is to Mr. Jax here, huh? Okay, so I already know, but here, Carnor Jax does not really look completely like him unless you look at the hair you see a similarity now yeah. paint a beard on him and I guess you could say that there is somewhat of a similarity the hairlines in the proper spot and this one is a little pale as you you would expect maybe a clone to be and then we have uh, so there's a similar look just no beard okay pretty cool Wanted to get that out of the way. All right, so here we go. We'll put, uh, you just put your helmet on, and there you have your Emperor's Royal Guard. Well, as we see here, we had one in training, and then we had one in his uh, guard position, and uh, you can always uh, manipulate them to hold the force pike properly. So, well, there we have it. You can also check out the pictures if you want to take a look at uh, them in greater detail. And I hope that helps you out. If you are uh, wondering about buying one, I think it's worth it. And I would recommend checking out Wrangler Angler, Wrangler Angler 82 on eBay because $11 with free shipping worked for me. All right, everybody. 
I thank you for your time. And until next time, may the force be with you. Take care.